It has been 10 days since I had my open heart surgery and I don't have all my energy back, which stinks. I really want to make, you know, awesome videos. I have uh, so many good ideas, but unfortunately I didn't want to overdo it. So what I have for y'all this week is a video that I made for the speech class I took this summer. It was all about how to play the tuba, but there was a lot of stuff that you could use in every instrument. So I hope y'all enjoy Hopefully by next week I can go back to making awesome kick butt videos. I believe that music is important because it's a form of entertainment and uplifting and to me it's just it's a great thing to be able to say that you can play an instrument because a lot of people it's surprising want to learn how to play an instrument so my name is Ben Cooper and today I will be teaching you how to play the tuba and to do this you'll really just need a tuba but it will help if you also have a piano so the two things I'm recommending you have is a tuba and a piano and if you don't have a piano you can you know look you google pianos and you can find like online pianos let's learn about the tuba that's step one we're gonna learn about the tuba because if you don't know anything about the tuba you won't be able to play it so these are the valves right here you use your fingers it's pretty self-explanatory a lead pipe right here that's where the mouthpiece goes this is the mouthpiece and you just kinda you buzz your lips you just kinda let them flop around but you do that in a mouthpiece and then put it, the mouthpiece in the tuba and then you can play tuba. The most important part about tuba is the air. If you don't have the breath support to be able to make the note, the note will not come out. So step two in this process is you want to learn how to play a song? We'll pick the song. Today we're going to do something kind of easy. We all know it. Mary Had a Little Lamb. There's four notes total in that song and I know that the tuba is a C tuba so the bass note is C. On the piano we'll play middle C. Just using my ear, I can tell that, well, Merry Little Lamb is three steps above that. It starts on an E, D, C, D, E, and then it goes up to G later in the song. So, now that we know that, we need to go over to the tuba, and we need to know the notes to play, the fingerings to play those notes. So, E is first and second, D is fourth, and C is open. And then that G is a fifth above that, and that will come in later in the song. The most important thing about learning how to play an instrument is, of course, practicing. You can't just expect to pick up the instrument and be able to play it, because if that was possible, everybody would be a musician and everybody would be great. But unfortunately, that's not the case. So with lots of practice, you can get the song sounding like Mary Had a Little Lamb. That's how you play Mary Had a Little Lamb, but to recap, what did we do? We learned about the tuba, how it kind of worked, and what little instrument, or parts of the instrument are called. We learned how to pick a song. You just kind of pick one you want to play, basically. We learned how to figure out the notes, go to the piano, and just use your ear. That's important, you know, being able to use your ear. Then we came back to the tuba, learned the fingerings for the instrument, and then we played the song. The hardest part in that is learning the fingerings for the instrument. And you can just Google C tuba fingering chart and that will show you exactly what you need to know. Uh, so you don't need to have me here to know what fingering goes on the tuba. You just take the piano and then you move it right to the tuba. And then the next hardest part is, well, where do you find a tuba? And unfortunately, that's not always an easy thing to grab and I understand that. But you know, some people used to play in band and they have like old trumpets and trombones and all kinds of stuff. The same rules apply with the trumpet and trombone. You buzz it, you learn the notes for it, the fingerings, and air is important, but most importantly is practice. And just like with any other instrument, you can learn how to play. So I hope that you learned something about playing the tuba and that you'll go out and learn how to play an instrument, which is what I think is very fun in life. 